today, mules were used to deliver food, water, and diapers in the mountains. I talked with a person who grew up in the valley and is now in one of the most affected places because of the storm. Water is high in Asheville, North Carolina. The city received 14 inches of rain. Roads have significant damage. Debris is stacked up against bridges. Carrie Cunningham grew up in New Middletown and has only lived in Asheville since the end of June. I mean, it's uh, scary. You know, I work with people that are related to firefighters, and they said that they're actually seeing casualties between the flooding and people rioting, breaking businesses. And Cunningham sees the devastation. The French Broad River has flooded one of the city's main features, the River Arts District. Getting supplies in has been tough. So is trying to buy them. It's pretty difficult. You know, there's resources somewhat available. There's gas across the street, but they only take cash. And trying to get that cash has been difficult so she can get food and water. Cell service is spotty, even cut out as we were talking. Power is limited in some places. Cunningham is concerned about today and this week. Honestly, long-term security. My workplace is also closed right now, so, you know, we don't even have work to go to. Cunningham is a registered veterinary technician, a nurse for animals, as she calls it. The state is trying to send clean water, but mudslides are blocking some roads. Airlifts may be needed to get the supplies to Asheville. So I'm basically yeah, just holding out homes, and that's all I can do at this point. <clears throat> Carrie Cunningham's apartment is okay. She has a place to stay. She hopes supplies get to town soon. The city says restoring the water might take weeks. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.